Hello you guys, <laughs> welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Mandy and today I am going to show you a very big um, haul that I got as I went to Joann's yesterday. Um, obviously when you see this it won't have been really yesterday for you guys but I went over the weekend um, on a Sunday and I figured I would share my haul with you guys. It looks like I got a ton of stuff and spent a ton of money. I promise you I did not. I will try to be pretty accurate with the cost of things um, if I, you know, need to mention that. But there were a few things that I had put in my cart um, that I was like, you know what, I need to just go to the store and see these things in person. It's just so hard for me. You guys, it is not just planners. Um, it is all things I need to see in person. So I shouldn't say that I have to see everything in person, but it's just so much better if I can. Um, curriculum, home, like homeschool curriculum, all that stuff. I just like, I like to see it in person. I like to see if it is something that I will mesh with and enjoy teaching or enjoy using or whatever. So I'm going to kind of clear this off, but I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit. It is obviously not all Happy Planner. Um, I went there for Happy Planner stuff because that's what I'm most familiar with. That's what, you know, for the disc bound system anyway. And um, I always enjoy going to Joann's, Michael's or Hobby Lobby even because they always have something that I didn't know about. Um, for example, you'll see here, like I got a pack of stickers that I didn't even know existed from a company company I didn't know existed and so forth. And this whole stack over here is something, I actually knew it existed, I just totally forgot about it. <laughs> so I was pleasantly surprised when I walked into Joann's and I saw um, clearance kind of right when I walked in. And of course I'm like, okay, I'll check this out real quick. I have you always go to a store and you think like you have all this time and then you realize, no, I'm going to spend a lot of time looking over things in the section I came here for. Um, I just think it's funny because if you actually did go to the section you went there for, probably probably wouldn't have anything you thought you it would have. And then you end up not in there very long while I was in, you know, the planner section a while. But in the front, they actually had a whole section for planners. Um, they had some happy planner things, but they had some of this brand, which I'm going to show you. I am going to show you, but it is the, um, of course I already took off the, hang on. I'm, I'm still here. I'm just going through my bag. It's the park. Okay. It's the park lane line. And I don't know if they're not selling it anymore or what, but they had a bunch of their park lane stuff and I'm going to show you what I got because I'm going to show you even like why I got them because a lot of things I put out on my YouTube channel here are to be productive and have functional planning to have a planner that makes you happy but makes also helps you to be productive and functional and not have to cause you more work than um than you need because we don't need that <laughs> so I'm going to kind of show you why I got these and I will try to let you know the prices. I, before, I know I'm talking a lot. Before I go into it, I just have to say that they had, these were on clearance and then on top of clearance was 25% off. And then I was able to get a 30% off teacher discount because right now, or at least I should have checked my app before filming this, but as of yesterday anyway, it said if you, scroll, if you open your Joann's app and you scroll all the way to the bottom, it said, um, for a limited time, teachers are getting 30% off. Now, I went to the counter and she said, oh no, teachers get 15% off. And she scanned her little sheet that had that. And it said 15% off. And I said, well, sorry, but my app actually says 30% off. So she had to um, meet me there. And I'm talking, I got things very very cheap so I will try to let you know the prices that I got these at as well because it is possible and even if that deal is no longer available Joann's does sometimes have 20% off or 25% off your order or whatever and I just wanted you guys to know that you can 
put together, you can have an abundance of things. I'm gonna actually, I'm happy to have a lot of these things for future use. I may not use them right away, but I, you guys know I mix up my planner all the time. So um, we're gonna get into that and I'm gonna try to tell you guys some of the prices as well. Keep in mind if you've been following my channel or not, that I am kind of in limbo on my planner right now, but I'm super excited to get my, um, I'm gonna say my next quarter planner <laughs> because I tend to change them up with the seasons and right now I'm, you know, in like a summery, almost fall vibe season, seasonal colors and, um, and, and type wise. Um, but I change my planner up quite often, but being in limbo, I am also trying to stick to keeping a planner that I can keep things in and for the past and the future. I don't know if that means my catch-all planner is going to be that way. I don't know if that means just my homeschool planner is going to be that way. I'm still filling that out, you guys, but I'm going to tell you right now, this haul is pretty much um, has made me just really, really excited to be able to change my planner up many times throughout the year. So changing my planner up is not, um, is, is, is going to happen, I should say. So don't you worry if you've been watching my channel going, is she just going to stick with the same look all year? No, I, it's not. That's why I love the happy planner or the discount system. So let me clear this out and start showing you guys what I got. Okay. So first off, I'm going to start with basically the first thing that I saw there. And I did already take the price tags off. Um, I'm going to say too, luckily, none of the price tags stuck to anything, which I absolutely love. But remember, Park Place line, I have like a whole pile over here. Um, this I saw and I thought, well, that's a cute, you know, um, cover. And you guys know me, I'm always looking to change out my covers and stuff. But I just haven't been willing to um, make my own just yet. I've kind of dabbled in it, but didn't really like how thin they come out. Um, and I am going to tell you right now, I really like the cover. The discs are just so-so, which um, I'm fine with because I have actual, like, I have, here's my, here's my current planner right now, which I love these, like, metal, the metal discs are so much better um, to me. But that's the whole point of the disc bound system. So I really like the cover and I also love when the inside cover is something I like too because if I ever want to use the inside cover I just you know do it the other way or the this would end up being my cover basically if I wanted a neutral cover like that. So um, I'm really excited that the covers are neutral. There's nothing written on them um, on this park place line and as you can tell as I took that out and put it back on they're actually really sturdy plastic I think um, which um, may or may not be something I like better but I um, these are just bendy um, the happy planner ones and as much as I do like the softness of them sometimes or the smoothness I should say this is just a little bit it's just a little more sturdy and that's something I've been looking for. So I thought, you know what, this notebook, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get, that was my first thought. Like, Oh yeah. Notebooks. I love notebooks. If you guys have seen any of my previous, um, videos about how to start and how to start your own Franken planner or my favorite things to get from happy planner and so forth, they're notebooks because the covers and the tabs are so reusable. Um, inside is some pretty lined paper. It honestly is not super thin. I thought it was going to be really thin and cheap. It's not. Um, so that section has another pretty double-sided tab. And you guys know I love reusing tabs. So I just thought this is so pretty. I could so reuse these tabs. And then I was pleasantly surprised that the next section of note paper was something different. That is something I do kind of wish the Happy Planner would do, is like mix up their note paper. Um, if you get a notebook with dotted dot grid, it's like the whole thing. And sometimes I kind of want something a little different. So it's got the dot grid and then another cute tab. And as you can see too, the tabs are different on both sides. So if you ever wanted to change it up, um, you could just turn it over. Um, I thought that was wonderful. 
Now, I will say, even just as I'm kind of playing around with this, and I don't know if maybe like they got messed around with in the store too much, but some of these tabs look, you know, like they're not gonna last super long. So FYI, but what I think I would probably do is just laminate it and then punch holes in it again. Um, the third section is grid paper, which is awesome. And then there's even a fourth section. So really cute and it's just pretty much blank with that graphic at the bottom. So this notebook, um, I wanna say it was, let me see if I can look at my receipt here. I think the notebook was 1097 and with the tw extra 25% off and my and the 30% off was only 576. Like exactly why I can't pass that up. I mean, yeah, you guys, you're gonna hear me say that a lot. Okay, the next one that I saw in the store was this one. Now you can see it's noticeably way more thicker. Um, very neutral cover again, nice and sturdy. So this, I noticed as I was looking through it, um, well, it's an 18 month planner, but my favorite thing about this and the next few planners you're gonna see is it is undated. And it's been a while since I talked about this is on my channel as well, but my favorite thing, my favorite planner is undated. Because as you guys know, in my current planner right now, uh, yeah, I dropped it. Um, <laughs> it stayed together, woohoo. My current planner right now is literally from 2021. <laughs> I reuse my planners, you guys. I I just do. I just don't want to waste money and I want to reuse them. I didn't redate these, but I, well, I redated them. I just didn't cover up the, the actual dates, but I just, yeah, I redate them. And I even have an undated, I think I, I might've taken the undated ones out because I really wanted to reuse the old ones. So when I found that I can use a month from here, and then if I don't wanna go with that look the next month, I don't have to, but maybe in the future I can, or I can just not go with it at all and use the pages. I mean, yeah. And these tabs, they aren't, um, a couple of them I noticed, like this one looks fine, but a couple of them were cut a little off and I think they're easy to take off. Or just to cover up and again one of my favorite things too is that they're double-sided I don't have a monthly on one other side um, so that's that was really nice so I'll just try to give you I can't give you a flip through of everything you guys we would be here forever but we have um, what I just noticed though I didn't notice this in the store but 2021 and 2022 so obviously this would basically be garbage um, <laughs> And that's probably why it was on clearance, but the rest of it is undated. So it obviously has the month, but I really liked that the tabs were like this because I would have, I would have pretty much even just bought it for the tabs because let's see, this planner was, I want to say it was the same or a little cheaper than the notebook. Um, just a second. I think it was 1197. So it was just a little bit more than the notebook and I got it for $6.29. So just to have all these tabs, if I ever need to remake my own planner, which I do a lot, so I'm very sure they're gonna come in handy. And they're just like that neutral notebook, um, but they're not even the same as that. So different, but still nice and neutral. Oh, that's one of the tabs I was talking about. Um, See, very neutral, very pretty, can go with many seasons. Like I could actually use this in October. I love like, especially for fall, you guys, I really like the tabs to go with the season. Now this seems more fallish to me, but you know. <laughs> so here's all the tabs. These tabs are the same on the other side. Well, almost, I should say, they're not all the same. They have the same theme anyway. May and June. Okay, and then the other thing I really liked about these was each month, again, you don't have your month on the other side of the, ta uh, the dashboard tab, 
but you have this really nice like month ahead type of thing. I really like this. Um, I could even easily cover these up if I need to and just use it for another purpose if I wanted. There's the monthly and then it's a horizontal layout. So I haven't really gotten to play too much with the horizontal layout. I really like want to, but I don't want to buy a whole happy planner for like 25 to $35 for that reason. So I think this is going to be perfect to play around with that and figure as I figure out what I really want to do. So nice thick planner there. And then as I kept going, I saw this one. This one is the same price. I want to say it's uh, it was $11.97 and I got it for $6.29. Basically same, um, same, same idea. Like it's 18 months. Um, it's probably the, yep, 21 to 22, but I can just toss those two pages. And then again, we have the tabs. So these are more of a blue look, which I'm not going to want to do all the time. But again, it's worth it for the few that I really do like. And then the pages inside. Um, I also really ended up liking... I'll just finish up showing you guys the tabs in case you're curious of those. Like there's times of the year, especially in January or something, when I'm like, yep, I'm into the blues. Okay, so it has a very similar page to the other one. Now this one does, it's, it's a little less neutral because of the blue, but other than that, it is very neutral still double checking you guys can see everything so this is more of like the dashboard style layout which I thought was awesome and again what I really like is that I can take them out and still use the other tabs and so forth if, if I want to so um so thought this was great loved 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 this so again same price as the other one can't pass that up so here I am with like three different things already where pretty much the price, not even the whole price of a, you know, regular planner. <laughs> um, then I saw this one. Um, I don't really know what this is. It probably had something attached to it and I didn't even notice it until I got home. Um, really like the color of these discs. Really like the front, um, the cover. And also like this one, if I wanted to use that as well, this one's different, you guys. And I was pleasantly surprised. Um, this one has some stickers in the front. Let me see if I can find the price of this one. Um, just a second. I think it was 1197. So 629. Okay. So stickers and I like the, um, typewriter. Um, you're going to see like the typewriter style font, but super cute stickers. And I really like the year at a glance in this one. Again, though, it's not full on dated. So this is really fun, you guys. Okay. So I, as I was looking through it, this first section here, I was like, okay, where's the new month? Like what's going on here? And then I started noticing the different tabs, planning, highlights, goals, memories, journal and a blank tab again each tab is really pretty neutral and then i thought well these are kind of fun planning pages if you just want your whole week on one page maybe you want to do like a meal plan or something here um or just different like activities that are going on so you can use your weekly for your actual productivity whatever it is you guys i thought this was really cool so it's got a whole section of these pages thought that was neat. Then I went to this one and I thought, well, I'm probably not going to use any of these other ones, but I also need to have some area, some things for homeschool that I thought these pages would be really cool for. Um, so it's not quite as big of a section of paper as, you know, the planning section, but I could just pull a few of these throughout the year. Um, here is a really cool, you know, not so neutral, but it, I thought I love this like vintage floral. So thought that tab was really cool. And this is for goals. So you can write your goals, notes, and then you have a habit tracker, which I thought of using just kind of randomly in my planner right now, since I'm not 
um, you guys will kind of see, where did I put that? For my next week, I basically wrote out all the little habits and I thought maybe I should just grab one of my habit trackers, which I do have, but I um, thought this was kind of fun. I could just pull one of these out. So that's a whole section there. It, I should say it does not, it's got this many, I don't know, that's probably like eight. And then it has blank ones, which I actually already started using one because I thought, you know what, let me try that out. <laughs> Next is memories. So this is kind of fun. Um, if you like to draw or just sketch something, I fit, this could be like a project planner. Um, and then the other side is a grid paper. So I really like that. And it is the whole section of memories. Next is journaling. So another just couple, I mean, I brain dump all the time. So when I saw these, I could totally use them. <laughs> Um, and then finally is just this kind of random um, note paper, like lined note paper. But I do really like when they have this space over here for um, labels or whatever. So I thought this was really cool and a pretty much a steal for about seven bucks. Next up from that same line, this is the final one from that line. Um, I wasn't going to get a skinny, but... I thought, why not? This is a really good deal. Um, I like the neutralness of it. The tabs aren't my fave, but um, I definitely like this portion of the skinny. And I really need something like this to keep me on track with meals, but also um, our lesson planning for homeschool. Um, I'm giving you guys thoughts and ideas that I've come up with, but I may or may not use those. And I really liked, again, it's undated. So I can date it. Um, and then again, I can do meal planning or just any type of pre-planning. I'm not sure. Sometimes, again, I might just wanna put like what's going on that day and then um, use my actual catch-all for functional productivity. So that is this one. Um, so I'll kind of show you the tabs kind of, I don't know if it like repeats exactly, but it's very similar, which I like the neutralness of these kind of, I think it's just the polka dots that kind of throw me off on this one. And the like very, you know, it's not subtle at all with like being black and white, but very, um, very cute. And I do like the outside cover. Although I don't know if I would be using the outside cover much since I'd probably Franken plan with these and put these inside my planner. Okay, next I actually do have, well, I guess it's a day-to-day -day brand. I thought it was the same, but I got a couple of these. They were $2.47. Um, with the discount, it ended up being $1.29. And I end up making my own budget planners. Um, so I thought, why not grab a couple of these for just a couple, you know, not even a dollar and a half each, so I can have some for the future. So that was a little random buy there too. Now we're gonna get into the happy planner stuff. Um, Again, why it was nice to go in person because you can't really see, I don't know, I don't feel like you can see stickers as well as you would like to um, until you're in person. But um, I haven't been buying too many functional stickers very much lately, but I what really got me on these ones <laughs> was, well, I thought those were cute, the leftovers, like a whole page for leftovers, right? I I have been really wanting to, especially summertime right now, focus on um, my cleaning schedule again instead of just kind of like doing one thing a day maybe doing a little bit more and it and it has quite a few different ways I can do that um, I really liked that they made some of these again the daily chore list but mainly I'm fine with those really it's more um, the weekly checklist I kind of wanted something just thought up for me so there's a page with six of those and then it goes into, I mean, I didn't look, I didn't sit there and look at this like the whole time I was at the store, but just like these kind of things, like these random, like organized linens, organize the closet, check and replace light bulbs. I kind of wanted something like this 
just those random things. And then I want to say there's a monthly there. Okay, so there's the dailies again. So there is a lot of dailies, which I'm not, I don't need need, but here's the monthly ones. So they have the weekly and the monthly. And I know it's just six per page, but I figured this would help me. Um, I mean, a month is going to last a month, right? And then you go on to the next month. So you really don't need a bunch of them. And they may even have one more weekly, which so that's good that they have more weeklies. So as you can see, just kind of more for those lists. Um, and then the other one, the little icons are extra for me. So I got this and they were selling it for um, $11.97 and I got it for $6.29. So I thought that was cool. I got Essential Seasons. You guys know anything seasonal is very um, <laughs> something I love. So this was regular $10.97 there and I got it for $5.76. Ooh, I wonder if I should have gotten two. Um, so as you can see, let's see here. These are my favorite colors for fall. Just that like muted. And this probably isn't even the fall part. I don't know. Yep, it's spring. So spring, summer, fall. I really love this. So that's spring. The bike was so cute. Okay, here's winter. I love these colors for winter. I'm not a super bright person when it comes to seasons. Maybe summer I'll do bright. Super cute. I love the coffee cups. Um, so man, maybe I should get another one if they still have that sell. Fall. It's getting me, giving me fall vibes, you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys are getting excited for fall. And I'm not trying to push through summer. I love, love summer. But I also partially love summer because fall comes next. Okay, and then I got the Homestead one. And now you guys are going to see quite a bit of <laughs> Homestead stuff coming up. Or Homesteader. So this was $21.99 and I got it for $7.69. <laughs> um... Again, if you can't get that 30% teacher discount, um, they still have other ones. I know it's not up to 30, but they have 20% off right now and stuff like that. So, um, so as you can see, the theme that I'm kind of feeling right now for f end of summer, school starting back soon, fall, is just these like creamier colors. So I'm really excited about these stickers. I had them in my cart online. Glad I went to see them in person. This is not Happy Planner, but it is a sticker set, and I thought I would get it. It's regular $9.99. It was not on sale, but regular $9.99 is pretty good, and with the 30% off, I got it for $6.99. So this is the art journaling. They're journaling stickers, but look how cute. So totally my vibe right now. Um, I'm, it makes me feel excited to try to start decorating my planner again a little bit more since I kind of don't really do that much. Um, just taking the time for it. You guys know I just don't really do that that much unless it's something kind of quick or easy to grab a sticker for. So really excited about finding a different brand of stickers. All right, now into the accessory style things and happy planners. So I did get a dash, a three-piece dashboard package for um, the big the big planner. Um, right? Is that big? Um, no. I mean, obviously these these things can be for any size, but I guess this is classic. Um, it doesn't really have to be either one, does it? Probably big, but it um, I think it fits in the classic. Anyways, I thought these were cute. Um, these are something I could always use, so wasn't something I had to be able to have for right now, but I could totally use them. And then, oh, and those were, sorry, everything's like, let's see, I think they were only 367, so yeah. Um, with the discount and stuff. So this is the home, no, not home body. Oh, the other one was the home body dashboard. Okay, so these are the um, Homesteader Big Accessory Pack, 
regular $21.99 and I got it for $7.69. You guys know I do have some big happy planners, so I went ahead and thought this was going to be a good one to have. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but as you can see, it, it's got a folder, which I really wanted a folder in my big. Um, I might even use this to help create my budget planner just the way that I want it. I love the folded uh, pre-punch sheets. I really like those and just note paper in general. As you can tell, I use bookmarks and stickers, so it had it all. Okay, the other thing, the other, well, let's go from there to here because, oh, I haven't even opened it yet. Let me get my scissors. <laughs> Um, I went ahead and I thought about this a little bit. I thought, okay, do I really, do I really want this? I'm not using a big planner right now. I actually am for my budget, but, um, I thought that too. I was like, well, you can use this for your budget. You can use this for your, a future budget. Um, what if you go back to the big, I still haven't decided for homeschool. Maybe I want to use it for homeschool. So, you know. It's hard when you go shopping and you're unsure. However, you have endless possibilities as well. So I went ahead and got the notebook. I almost got the planner, but I'll show you guys why I didn't get the actual big planner because the big planner wasn't gonna be that expensive either. But I'm tired of getting planners and then not using them and then having to reuse them later. Um, and I really wanted to be able to use what I got and have something for now so I don't have to redate too much. Um, although I'm really enjoying using my old planners. So I got a notebook and it's like the line dots, which is perfect for me. I love the tabs for this notebook, you guys, or for this whole Homesteader line. It gives me all the fall vibes, even though it may be summery, I don't know, but to me it's got some fall vibes. Um, lots of note paper. I write down lots of stuff. I have these all over next to my bed so I can just brain dump. And I can, you guys know, I can make a planner out of this if I want to. So the only thing I wasn't super excited about with these was the outside cover, just because it's a little light for me. But I can use this as my cover if I really want to. <laughs> so you guys know I try to make it as functional and usable as possible so this notebook did I, I already said it was only um $7.69 so I thought that was great um two things left you guys I ended up getting this one as well this is a classic size notebook I had my eye on this one since it came out um, I had my eye on the planner as well since it came out, but I am glad I did not end up in buying the planner just because um, I haven't, you know, needed it. But um, I do like the outside of this. There's another one I like more, but it's the big size. And again, I don't, I'm not using the big right now. Um, but again, I like this. This is my, one of my favorite tabs. I'm not going to say I bought it just for the tab. <laughs> the dashboard tab. However, I do really love this and I'm excited to use it for fall in my notebook or planner or whatever I need decide to use it for. But wild, beautiful, and free. And that just goes so well with um, like our homeschool style and everything too. So love, love the double-sided notebook tabs. You guys, I tell you, all the time get notebooks if you're not sure if you want to actually use a planner and just pl make your own note make your own planner out of those notebooks and then you have all this extra paper if you want it um, I don't see why not but so the other tabs are really pretty um, you know not anything that I would be like oh I, I really you know need that but they are really cute the actual planner I really liked the other tabs of too um, so more note paper and it's in a classic size, which I'm really excited about. I really like the classic and again, I can use this as a cover if I don't want this as a cover or I'm, it's out of season or something. All right, you guys, I've been talking a long time. I know big haul, but this is something I was iffy about, but I'm so excited about it too. I ended up getting a coil bound planner. 
I know you guys are like, well, are you crazy? You just got all these things for your disc bound planner. If you've been watching my channel lately, you guys know that I have been really, really just wanting something that I cannot take things out and put things in. I know that's the complete opposite of what I just told you guys. I'm excited to have my disc bound planner for, but I have different areas of my life that I want to make sure um, that I kind of do this with. I have not decided what I'm going to use this for yet, you guys. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use it. Um, I'm really excited about it because I feel like right when I picked it up, I thought this is something, this is the feeling I want in my planner. There's just something different about having coil over discs. Um, yet, it's a love-hate thing because... I can't take things out and put things in <laughs> unless I were to figure out how I would do that with this. But, and then I opened it up and I saw that it was the Homesteader line and I was like, how can I pass this up? So that's two, right? I don't, I'm not saying two strikes. I'm saying like two things that <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't get this. Let me check the price. So then I checked the price and, um, let me find it real quick. Where are you? Where are you? Um, no, that's notebook. Sorry, you guys. Hang on. I'm trying to find it. Um, wait, there it is. Nope, that's not it either. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry, you guys. That took forever. Um, I looked at the price. It's regular $34.99. Um, I got it for twelve twenty four. <laughs> I can't, I can't pass that up, you guys. So, um, and it's the years that I need it to be. Um, and I also am glad that it's like this because then I can write down the the things that we want to do in the year. And I have this for school, so I'm I'm thinking I might do it as my homeschool planner. The only bummer, and I don't even know if this is a bummer, is since I can't put things in here my homeschool resources are going to have to be in my catch-all, which saying that out loud is probably a good thing because those resources come and go. I don't always keep that stuff, but um, this is going to actually like be keeping track of the lessons and how long it's taking to go through those. Um, it's going to keep track of the different things and the notes that I'm taking and our monthly and so I haven't completely decided on it being homeschool, but that's what I'm thinking, you guys, because I do think I need something very consistent with homeschool. I think I need something that I don't need to necessarily take things out of and put things in. That's fine for my 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 random thoughts and my in my catch-all. But so, and there's just something about the feeling of picking this up and saying this is like what I'm using for my life. Um, being that it's not going to like fall apart or anything. <laughs> so the cover was neutral. It wasn't like, I was like, oh, it wasn't like that, but it was neutral. So it can go with every season. And then I just really, really do like the, um, homestead. Um, and I'm really enjoying the three, uh, uh, vertical, sorry, the three sections of the vertical. I'm just not sure if that's how I really am going to like plan our lessons. Really. It's more, um, for me to write out what lesson we're going to do, but also like, what do I need to prep and get out and all that. So the more I go into our homeschool stuff, the more I'll be able to like figure that out. But I also loved that, um, again, I love each tab, but I like that it switches to even more neutral. So as you can see, there's a pretty blue, um, a nice light gray, and then, uh, like kind of pinkish tan and I really like that and then it goes back to blue so and then I'll just show you the tabs um I know you can do this on your own or whatever but um you guys also know that I'm a very seasonal person so I don't really mind this for December and it's homeschool so it's not like my catch-all or anything I'm gonna have that be really seasonal I think but December, this is nice, although I don't know if I would have done these in January, but November was nice. So as you can see, like the months do go okay 
I would have made this January, I think, but <laughs> I didn't make it. Um, and yeah, like this, I for sure would have made July, but it's in August for some reason. Like I would have switched those. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my haul. If you guys have any thoughts or you guys are like, you should totally use that for this or whatever, you will have to let me know because um, I'm really excited, but now I have so much on my mind and so much I want to do, but don't want to fully commit to yet. It almost probably made my decision making with what I want to do for my planner worse, but now I have options um, more than just, you know, having the, the planners that I'm reusing. I'm not going to completely go away from reusing my planners because that is why I've kept those for so long. I needed them, obviously, but I'm excited to um, kind of take another step on this journey of figuring out what my planner is going to be for this next quarter of, of life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. Let me know um, if you guys enjoy hauls and what your favorite was and um, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys for the next one. And I'm excited for you guys to see what I end up doing for the next one. Oh, I feel like it's a lot of pressure, but I will try to take you along with me. Have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day, guys. Bye.